Hello everyone, that's in today's second video. So we're already done the five day forecast and you can find the video chat here on the home page. Just scroll down a bit and the five day forecast will be under the link ad. There's also the uh, written version which you get to via buttons at the top of the page at Gaswell is. Uh, essentially, we're going to be in for um, rather changeable five days, starting off cold and it's going to get a bit milder as we go through into the weekend. So, uh, if you want to know more about the uh, coming five days of weather, do check five day forecast out. This is the uh, 40 day look ahead from the Beijing Climate Centre. It's going to take us into December and uh, we'll have a quick look and see uh, what the model is predicting for the next uh, 40 days, so the rest of November and into December. So before we get on with that, just say about the ads. There's links to articles on all of the pages. Have a browse widgets and click through the links. If there's any articles that you're interested in, you're going to be helping us to pay for our website. Thanks very much for doing that. There's also video ads on most pages, which open up content when you've got to close book up again and it does help to pay for gas uh, Gas shop is open, so so if you've got any crystal shopping to do at Amazon. Between now and Christmas, all you have to do is click the green button that says uh, Christmas Shop. It'll take you two hours Christmas Shop. And then from there, the key to it all is to go through the Amazon banners. Click through the Amazon banners. It'll take you to Amazon. And uh, once you get there, you can do Christmas Shopping as well. You don't need to do anything different whatsoever. Just purely the fact that you click from our website to theirs means that we get a revenue fee on the things that you're purchasing. And thanks very much for doing that. It does help to pay. for it. so You've got plenty of time to uh, do that of course it's uh, still early days so uh plenty of time to do shopping at amazon but if you've got any shopping to do at amazon don't forget to do it through uh gab shop so have a look at the uh, 500 minimum height anomalies broken down to 10 day periods for the next 40 days so this takes into uh december and then we'll have a look at the corresponding temperature now precipitation on this that go uh, with these charts. So uh, we start off with the coming 10 days. This takes us from the 11th through to the 20th of uh, November. The model is placing a ridge out to the west and uh, to the northwest of the UK. There's a trough in the central Atlantic. And I would have thought the jet stream is doing something a bit like that. And there's a very deep trough in across much of Europe as well. So that looks cold there for many parts of Europe, particularly northern and uh, northeastern parts of Europe. For us, it's a little bit changeable perhaps, but I think a lot of uh, settled weather will be coming through with that. Um, Probably fairly mildish as well. I don't think it will be overly warm, but probably a little bit on the milder side with the flow coming in off the Atlantic. Okay, next 10 day period takes from 21st through to the 30th of November, and this one just places an area of above average heights over the UK, troughing the uh, Atlantic, and again, there's still the vestiges of that deep trough that got for the coming 10 days still in there across northeastern parts of Europe. Again, the jet stream will be going uh, something a bit like that and then again over there a bit like that so i think that's just a lot of dry and settled weather could be ending uh november on pr probably quite a chilly note high pressure centered over top of the country going to tend to be favoring quite cold conditions maybe with frost and fog especially so at night but probably the model will probably say mild but to actually with high pressure in that position at the end of november i reckon we would at least get some cold frosty nights uh next 10 day period going from the first through to the 10th of november we have ridging out to the northwest of the uk it looks like pressure is uh, lower down to the south so uh, this could be turning winds into the east uh perhaps that could be a colder one there coming through for the first 10 days of uh, December. Maybe a little bit of an easterly there, uh, which would be cold, of course. You can expect uh, frost and possibly wintry showers, snow showers uh, coming in with easterly winds at the end of uh, at the end of um, uh, uh, start, I should say, end of November, start of December. Uh, finally, a uh, final 10 a bit. Go from the 11th through 20th of December. Above average heights again, centering just to the north of Scotland. Um, so I think, again, we might be bringing in a bit of an easterly flow there. Difficult to say, actually, uh, on these charts quite which way the wind direction is coming from. But I reckon with the centre of the above average heights to the north of Scotland, we'd have to be thinking about uh, easterly winds. Uh, from the, uh, just a recap on when that was, from the 11th through 20th of December. Uh, if I have a look at the, uh, or next have a look at the temperature anomalies for coming 10 days, it's going from the 11th through 20th of November, coming out milder than average. The next 10 days from the 21st to 30th, 
of the November comes out mild and average. Not at all sure about that one. I think we could have frost and fog, particularly so at night. The next 10 day period, uh, this is when we thought we might be starting to get some easterlies uh, coming through in towards uh, Scotland. So it's this 10 days uh, just here. And again, it's milder than average, but it is turning a bit cooler there. Uh, and I reckon that will probably be quite a cold 10 days from the 1st and the 10th of uh, December. And then the next 10 days, it's milder than average. Really, the model is going over the top again with the temperature signal. Both of these 10 day periods um, so the 1st through to the 10th and then the 10th through to 20th of December. They should both be coming out colder than average. We're going to go far too over the top uh, with the mild signal once again, as ever, with these uh, long-range charts. And particularly so, I'm praying for the Beijing Climate Centre, which uh, consistently seems to overdo the temperatures. Precipitation for the coming uh, 10 days, 11th through 20th of November, looks uh, generally a bit drier than uh, average. We've got high pressure out to the west of the country, of course, so you wouldn't expect an overly uh, wet period then. The next 10 days, and this is a bit odd because it looked like above average heights were centering over the UK, but this one goes a little bit wetter uh, than average, so not sure what's happening there. Uh, and then the next 10 days into uh, early uh, December, going you know, from the 3rd to the 10th of December, comes out a bit drier than average once again. That's where we've got easterly flows coming through. And the final 10 days, again, not particularly wet period at all. It goes a little bit above average with, with the precipitation. And again, remember with this one, we're probably suggesting easterly winds. So um, that could be wintry showers, perhaps, coming in off the uh, North Sea. I think overall, the signal for precipitation is generally on the dry side. It's not looking an overly wet period at all. No sign of remorseless and relentless uh, zonality, such as we had this time uh, last year. The temperatures are being overcooked. I think it probably will be a bit milder through this middle phase of November. I expect it gets a bit colder later on. As we get into December, as we suggest that we might turn the winds into the east, that would be quite a cold uh, period as well. And uh, of course, with easy winds, you should be dragging in the chance of uh, wintry showers or even snow showers onto the eastern side of the country. So, not a particularly exciting update uh, if you just take the chance at face value. Do a little bit of interpreting, dig down a bit, and uh, particularly early December does look quite interesting. We'll see how it goes. As ever with long-range forecasting, it's highly experimental and not to be relied upon, so don't take it too seriously. A bit of fun, uh, really. Um, and that's all now. Don't forget to check out 5-Day Forecast if you haven't yet done so, and get your Christmas shopping uh, at Gav's shop if you haven't done that yet either. That's all for now, then. Thanks for watching.